Hey everybody, it's Steve, a thousand year home. Welcome aboard. So I've finished up uh, working fence rows, clearing today. I'm pretty tired, but I'm going to go ahead and, and work on this southwest theme that I have going on. These are all found items. The uh, the pot there I found, uh, it's from Mexico. The gentleman was from Mexico. He's going back to Mexico. I bought it cheap on Craigslist. Uh, the Coco Pele, I, I found that mixed in with some rebar somewhere. Uh, I think at Paul's in Page, Texas, a little thrift store. So I'm putting down stone, and then I've got cactus. I also have a trumpet vine here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and landscape here by the gate. A lot of my house, I'm building a thousand-year house, and that theme, a thousand years, comes from the uh, Southwest Natives people. The There's adobe cities like Sun Cities or Sky City that... Um, is over a thousand years old still occupied of course you have all of the uh, cliff dwellers that were in the uh, Grand Canyon area um, their, their buildings were over a thousand years old the Navajo there's a lot of different Native Americans that were building an adobe style like mine now I'm mixing uh, modern using two shipping containers with uh, adobe so I'm doing a uh, laminate uh, which is faster for me as a single builder but I'm going to go ahead and set this up here. I'm, I'm liking it very much. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I've got some moon cactus. I'm going to go ahead and make a rebar tree, not a very tall tree, for this to go up. But like um, maybe six foot high with uh, and then bend the rebar out where it's just uh, like a mushroom of rebar. Uh, there over the top of the uh, cocopele as well as the... Uh, trumpet vine to grow up and just make this a little decorative spot at the end of the day to decompress uh, you know I just need something I, I spent all day long before the storm came up in the hot uh, man I'm overheated and uh, but I spent all day long doing all that work so let me go ahead and work on this and then get your opinion why the sun is setting these here are candle uh, candle um, cactus that I found alongside the road starts they grow uh, really tall I mean this is pretty tall it's not like a swear all or some cactus like that but uh, it grows super tall so I'm gonna get these in the ground I have three of them they're all itty bitty uh, but I'll get them in the ground here along this thing to kind of frame that up and maybe I'll dig up some prickly pear and put some prickly pear I could put a prickly pear inside the uh, inside the pot I think that would be kind of cool mm, all right so I like my little uh, piping boy, for god of fertility, male god of fertility, as well as youthful joy. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. A chiminea, that's a good find. This river stone actually came out of my driveway and out of the road as I've leveled it. So I didn't buy those. Those are all found stones. I'm going to put the cactus there, a couple around that stone. Uh, I've got a whole nother... This thing will have the rebar tree right here. There's the gate for going out. And then I have, you know, this much stone left. I'll go ahead and move it while the sun is setting and get that all set up. So this is the backside. I'm enjoying it. A little bit of landscaping clears the mind. I'm getting hungry too. <laughs> Now, one fun thing uh, in these rocks are a bunch of granite rocks that are from Crazy Horse. So my family went and visited Crazy Horse. And at the bottom, you can pick up uh, as many stones as you can carry. <laughs> so uh, we took a tour and we've got a bunch. So I'm going to put a, a little grouping of Crazy Horse stones there as if, uh, you know, they're Native Americans standing uh because the myth is, you know, the Native Americans have a myth they'll return in stone. And 
run everything again. I think the world will be a little better place when they do. So anyway, I'll, I'll continue to put those kind of granite ones there. And the river rock, as I find them, I'm just going to make it look like it's running. Build it up in this area. I'm not going to get crazy. The rest of this, I'll sow blue bonnets and Indian paintbrush and all kinds of nice flowers all over that. Let me keep doing the stones. I'd like to get this all done before the darkness falls. We'll see. I, I want it nice and heaping. I want a big pile of stone. So I'll keep going over that until it's a, you know, a, a real standout piece. Not real low to the ground, but a real standout piece. Let me set you up over here where you can watch. Well, I, I tried to dig uh, in that ground, but until that rain decides to fall, this ground is too hard. It gets hard as concrete, it really does. So I like that. It looks good uh, even in the setting sun. Uh, it's very dark. It's dust. This is a good camera, so it does good at low light. So I like the whole presentation. I like my idea where the trumpet vine is of having a little rebar metal uh, tree of life sticking up over that, you know, 10, 10 strands of rebar bound together and then just bend the, bend each one of the branches out so that the trumpet vine can grow up it. I'll work on that when I get time. I'm really, what I'm really working on is this fence line and, uh, I cut it back, oh, about two football fields so far. Uh, in addition, I got these fence lines all cut back. You can see that they're all cut back. I got most of the pond cut back, so I've been busy uh, trying to get everything around for me to, uh, you know, uh, be able to pull barbed wire there and keep the cattle out from my build site because they tear everything up. All right, this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Like, subscribe, follow along. Thank you. Bye.